and thank you for your interesting ClickShare. Today I'd like to tell you how you can use your iPad with the ClickShare system. First, is, first thing I'm going to show you is with our ClickShare app, which will be available on the Apple Store. Then I'm going to show you using our hardware add-on, the ClickShare link. So first I'll show you the app. Now the first thing to do is connect to the base unit Wi-Fi. You can do this to use in your settings. Type in the pack password, which is default click share. And that allows your iPad to communicate with your base unit. Then I go to the app. I'll select a PDF for my local documents and press click share, and I'm on screen. So if you want to show more than just static content, you can also use the ClickShare link. This comes in the box with a power supply, a USB cable, and a converter. Now the easiest way to hook this up is to simply plug in the power supply, plug in the USB into the back of your unit, and then use the HDMI to DVI converter. You'll have to purchase a HDMI cable and a converter to HDMI from the Apple reseller. Now these come in two types, either the 30 pin dock or with a lightning cable. So buy one that's best for you. I'll just disable the app. And then I see myself on the screen. Now this allows you to completely mirror what's on your iPad to your central display. So really what you see is what you get. And you can also show moving content. So you can also use your click share link using AirPlay, but this does require that you purchase an Apple TV. So what I'm going to do is hook my Apple TV, which is HDMI output, into the DVI of my ClickShare link. And then I see the Apple TV menu. So the first thing you need to do is get the Apple TV connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your ClickShare base unit. So when I go into the Apple menu, I can select the base unit, which I know is this serial number. And then I type in my password. So you'll notice you won't have internet access, and this is normal. So simply continue without internet. Accept the policy. See, when you first install the Apple TV, you'll always have the Apple TV menu on your screen. And this, of course, won't work with the ClickShare system. So we have a solution for that. You can calibrate your ClickShare link so the menu from the Apple TV will not be shown. You can do this in the web interface. Simply go to Setup, Link, and it automatically identifies there, there is a link attached. Then you can select Start Calibration and you'll see some green on your screen. This is recognizing the Apple menu, so it won't be shown in the future. And when the calibration is successful, you will see your ClickShare wallpaper appear. Now I'm ready to use my iPad, and I can do this by enabling AirPlay. So first thing, I have to make sure I'm on the same Wi-Fi network as the ClickShare base unit and the Apple TV. So you can see here, ClickShare slash dash the serial number of the ClickShare base unit. Then I need to launch AirPlay. I select my Apple TV, and I turn mirroring on.
It takes a few moments, but then I get complete mirroring on my screen. So you can scroll through, flick through a calendar. Basically what you see is what you get. So thank you for your attention, and I wish you all the success in using your iPad with your ClickShare system.